Hello everyone, I am Rohit Watts and you are watching Health Plus. In this episode, we are going to talk about a good heart health. And to talk about it, we have Dr. O.P. Yadav with us, CEO of National Heart Institute. And doctor, let's address the elephant in the room first. Why so many celeb deaths and people who are looking very uh, fit in general are prone to heart failure? What is happening there? Well, thanks a lot, Rohit. I mean, you use the word fit people. I think you better should use the word apparently fit. See, it's not, fitness is not just on the surface. Fitness is something which has to be examined and declared fit. Did they have their blood pressure recorded? Did they have their blood sugar recorded? Because both of these are silent killers. They don't produce any symptoms. Then it's also important with these young celebrities, what, did they have any substance abuse? We call them first absolutely healthy, normal weight. But did they have visceral obesity? Means a slight tummy. Jise hum Hindi mein tond bolte hain. Hamara upar wala hissa mein weight nahi hai. Hamare hips mein weight nahi hai. Lekin hamare pet mein wo jo ek do kilo extra weight hota hai. That is what causes the damage. Then any substance abuse. Were they smokers? The amount of stress that they go through, that is very important as you climb the ladder. So all these factors are important before you declare a person fit. And doctor, I was also wondering that, are there enough signs given by body to figure out that maybe this person is prone to heart failure or they might feel a heart attack later? Is, are there enough signs given by the body? Well, the answer to your question, Rohit, is yes and no. I just told you, high blood pressure and diabetes have no sign at all. They are called silent killers. Their signs will come only when damage has taken place. And that's what you want to prevent. So, diabetes ka aapko tabhi pata lagega jab aapni blood sugar aap check karenge. Blood pressure ka jab aap blood pressure napwaayenge. Having said that, Yes, अगर आपको कभी भी कोई सिम्टम हो चेस्ट में जिसे आप एक्सप्लेन ना कर सकें आपने खुमचे में खाना खाया है गलदा खाला खाया है और आपको एसिडिटी है तो मैं मान लूँ लेकिन आप रोज घर का खाना खाते हैं आपने आज भी खाया है और तब आपको एसिडिटी है तो उसको एसिडिटी मत समझिए अनएक्सप्लेन्ड एसिडिटी चेस्ट डिस्कम्फर्ट Breathing difficulty, palpitation, unexplained, should be treated as coming from the heart unless proven otherwise by the doctor. Can ECG and uh, ECO, uh, they figure out that the artery is blocked and this may lead to a heart failure? No. ECG is reliable in only one third of people. Barely three out of ten people who have blocked arteries. You have done an NGO and you know arteries are blocked. Their ECG may be totally normal. So ECG is reliable in only three out of 10 people. Echo, if it produces old heart attack, it will detect. But if a person has got just angina, Echo may be totally normal even when the arteries are blocked. So even they are not like reliable parameters of it? No. So you may have to do what is called stress test. Means you put the body on stress by either walking on the treadmill or by doing a stress echo or other forms of nuclear uh, forms of uh, testing for the stress. They are slightly more reliable but none is 100% reliable. 100% reliability is only with angiography. That's all. But we should not go for 100% reliability. We should look at risk factor control at a vulnerable age group. And, and the vulnerable age group is childhood. Yes. In fact, if I can take 30 seconds, it is a lesson we learned from Vietnam War. Young recruits, 18 to 21 years who died, American soldiers, 
when their autopsy or postmortem was done, which was mandatory, they found streaks of cholesterol reposition in the arteries of the heart. Even when they did not die because of that, they died. So that was one. And second is there is a disease called SID, sudden infant death syndrome. A baby, six, eight month old, has milk, goes to sleep, and at the anointed time does not wake up. And when you sh shake the child, you find the child is dead. That's what called sudden infant. How to get rid of these things? Because every now and then we are hearing about cholesterol and how good cholesterol is, you know, fighting against bad cholesterol and suddenly the body is, you know, uh, immune to so many things. So what should be the ideal way uh, to get out of it, this situation? Well, the ideal way I think is the care should start from the womb and should end at the tomb. When it's the baby, easier said than done. No, it is something which is practical and can be done if only we have the willpower. We have done that, that bonsum baby contest when I was young like you, we used to have all these contests and sometimes I've acted as a judge in those. That's all been banned now. You don't hear of healthy baby contest. Those days we used to keep the babies plump and we thought they were healthy. No, plump baby is not healthy. So we have to look at when the child is in mother's womb, what the mother is eating, she has to take care of that. And second most important thing is, when the children are one and two, three year old, they never have any sweet tooth. That sweet tooth is not genetic. That is created by the parents. At that time, we give them ice creams. We give them all these sweet things and chocolates and, and toffees. And they get and hooked confectionery, to it. And they get hooked to it. They get hooked to it. You're very right. So sugar is as addicting as tobacco. Sugar is addicting, mark my words. I'm using a technical word. Those who have a sweet tooth, it's not their fault. They've got addicted, just like tobacco, just like alcohol. It's an habit that's been so, formed over the years. Yes, it has been, and that is inculcated by you. So, and it is for the parents to realize. Now you tell me a single school, single school which does not have a canteen, but you can see all the canteen in the canteen, samosa, pakore, who is selling apple or a banana that a student comes and buys that apple and banana? Right. So this has to be mandatory by the regulatory authorities that school health canteens cannot be uh, selling these cheap sandwiches and those kind of stuff. Doctor, I also wanted to know that just like fatty liver, where doctors say that it can be reversed, can a bad heart health be reversed also? Yes, it can be, but to a point. Now, we use the word pre-hypertension and pre-diabetes. Those words have now been withdrawn by international guidelines and they have been called grade one high blood pressure. Now that level of high blood pressure and diabetes can be reversed. But once a full-fledged diabetes sets in, it cannot be. Similarly, if you have a 30 to 50% blockage in the arteries of the heart, it can be reversed with yoga, with uh, diet and lifestyle changes. But when that becomes calcified, when that becomes 100%, nothing in the world can open that artery. So there is a tipping point. Beyond the tipping point, you will not be able to reverse the disease. But before that, you can. So keep healthy when you are in the school. That's very important. But those who have crossed that age group have entered 35 to 50 years of age group and you have started developing these disease processes. That's the age when you can reverse. Yes, that's the stage you can reverse. But if you develop it into a full-blown heart attack and a full-blown 100% blocked artery, 90% blocked artery, then you cannot reverse it. What are the parameters that we need to keep in health check-up? We need to keep in mind that we can't keep it. अगर मैं आपका सवाल थोड़ा सा बदलूं, आप इन चीजों पे जाने से पहले जो चीजें बिल्कुल आपकी आंखों के सामने नजर आ रही हैं कि आपकी पेट की जो गर्थ है जो हम वेस्ट सरकमफ्रेंस बोलते हैं उसको आप देखिए आप शीशे के सामने खड़े होइए टेढ़े होके और देखिए कि आपकी छाती नॉर्मल ब्रीदिंग में बाहर आए या पेट बाहर आए अगर आपका पेट बाहर है तो वो विस्ट्रल ओबेसिटी कहलाता है और आपका ट्राइग्लिसराइड कोलेस्ट्रॉल डायबिटीज हाइपरटेंशन जो मर्जी हुआ हो आपका ये पेट बाहर है इसका मतलब आपको हार्ट अटैक होने के चांसेस बहुत हाई हैं और बाकी चीज़ें जैसे आपने बोला वो बड़े हुए निकलेंगी तो हमें 
वो चीज़ें जिनके लिए हमें पैसा खर्चना भी नहीं है गरीब आदमी शायद शुगर टेस्ट नहीं कराएगा लेकिन वो अपना वेट देख ले और ये गरीबों में भी होता है आप भी गलत मत समझिए कि ये शहरों की बीमारी है रूरल अर्बन डिवाइड खत्म हो गया बिकॉज क्वालिटी ऑफ फूड हैज चेंज लो जो गरीब आदमी है वो हाई कार्बोहाइड्रेट फूड खा रहा है बिकॉज हाई प्रोटीन फूड तो बड़ा महंगा हो गया है तो उनकी मुसीबत है कि उन्हें एक खाना पड़ रहा है वो बेचारा आलू की सब्जी के साथ ही सब्जी खा पाता है वो आपकी महंगी वाली सब्जियां नहीं अफोर्ड कर सकता वो दाल नहीं अफोर्ड कर सकता अच्छा जो सब्जी आप खा रहे हो चाहे वो सब्जी ही है लेकिन उसमें भी अंतर है कि कौन सी खानी है और कौन सी नहीं खानी बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सो so, आप पहले ये ध्यान रखिए कि आप अपनी एक्टिविटी लेवल पूरा मेंटेन रखिए अगर आपकी एक्टिविटी बहुत है आपका कोलेस्ट्रॉल जो मर्जी हो आपकी एक्टिविटी आपको प्रोटेक्ट करेगी तो आप अपना एक्टिविलेटरी लेवल को मॉनिटर करिए आप अपने पेट के सरकमफ्रेंस जिसे हम वेस्ट कहते हैं उसको 90 से नीचे रखने की कोशिश कीजिए और आप समझदारी से खाना खाइए जिसमें हरे पत्ते की सब्जी लीजिए तला हुआ कम लीजिए सिंपल कार्बोहाइड्रेट जैसे मैदा की चीज़ होती है सफ़ेद डबल रोटी है सफ़ेद आटा है कन्फेक्शनरी है मीठी चीज़ें हैं इनका सेवन कम कीजिए ये जितनी गुजिया भुजिया चिप्स ये क्रीज इनका सेवन एरेटेड ड्रिंक्स वो कम खाइए उसके बाद जूस लोग बड़ा पीते हैं आजकल अरे साहब आप चार संतरे का जूस पी रहे हैं आप वो चार संतरे नहीं छः खाइए लेकिन जूस मत निकालिए फाइबर के साथ आप उसका जो पौष्टिक पोर्शन है उसको बाहर फेंक देते हैं और उसमें से जाहिर एक्सट्रैक्ट करके आप पी रहे हैं जो एक शुगर सोल्यूशन है ड्रिंकिंग इन मॉडरेशन बिकॉज अलॉट ऑफ अलॉट ऑफ पीपल आर ऑल्सो टॉकिंग अबाउट इट दैट हार्ट रिमेन्स हेल्दी इफ यू ड्रिंक इन मॉडरेशन मे बी दिस इज अथ लाइक वट यू वट यू इट इज़ अ मिथ इट्स एन एप्सोल्यूट मिस रेड वाइन का कोरियन डॉक्टर साहब ने जो किया था उनको एक्शन भी हो गया है कि वो रिसर्च सारी फ्लॉड रिसर्च थी एंड अनफॉर्चुनेटली आज के ज़माने में इट्स ए कमर्शली ड्रिवन वर्ल्ड हर आदमी अपने प्रोडक्ट को बेचना चाह रहा है और इंडस्ट्री भी स्पॉन्सर करती है हम डॉक्टरों को भी स्पॉन्सर करती है स्टेटमेंट देने के लिए कोका कोला और एरिटेड ड्रिंक्स की नाइनटीन में जो स्टेटमेंट दी गई थी वो इन्फॉर्मेशन विदहेल्ड कर ली गई थी और वो चीज़ें निकल के आज आ रही हैं लेकिन वो अब कई लोग तो जिंदा भी नहीं इवन थिंग तो ये हमें सोचना है कि ड्रिंक्स हार्ट का कोई फायदा नहीं करती हैं एब्सोलूटली प्रूवन हाँ अगर आप 30 एम एक लेडी के लिए और 60 एम एक आदमी के लिए ले रहे हैं सेंसिबल ड्रिंक कर रहे हैं विदाउट एडिशनल जो हम उसके तो साथ खाते हैं, नहीं वो भी देखें ये नहीं कि उसके साथ स्नैक्स में आप चिल वो सारा फ्राइड चीज खा रहे हैं तब आप सोशली ले सकते हैं लेकिन इसलिए नहीं कि वो आपके हार्ट को फायदा कर रहे हैं बिल्कुल हार्ट को कोई फायदा ड्रिंक से नहीं है इस इंटेंशन uh, से आप ड्रिंक मत कीजिए आई वॉज रीडिंग समवेयर दैट एशियंस आर प्रोबली मोर प्रोन टू इट एंड देर वॉज ऑल्सो दिस थिंग आई रीड एन आर्टिकल अबाउट वाई वीमेन आर लेसर प्रोन टू हार्ट अटैक्स सो आर देन एनी रियालिटीज बिहाइंड दीज रिसर्च लाइक वॉट इज हैपनिंग दर वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज द रियल पिक्चर दर वेल इट्स एब्सोल्युटली राइट एंड नॉट ओनली एशियंस It's especially in Southeast Asia, like we, India, Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Bangladesh Nepal, Nepal, all those Sri Lanka. We are the maximum prone population in the entire world, and there is a genetic predisposition to these. Our HDL cholesterol, which is the good cholesterol, which should be very high, we should keep it around forty-five to fifty. is in the range of 25 to 30 with us our total cholesterol is low as compared to western population but our ldl cholesterol which is a part of the total cholesterol which is the bad cholesterol is very high so our bad cholesterol is very high our good cholesterol is very low we are prone to sugar intolerance or diabetes and we are prone to as we have discussed visceral obesity all this is predisposing us to heart attacks and these diseases and this is what is called nature versus nurture 
नेचर मीन्स वॉट जीन्स वी हैव बीन बॉर्न विद दोज जीन्स आर अगेंस्ट अस दे हैव मेड अस प्रोन टू हाई ब्लड प्रेशर हाई कोलेस्ट्रॉल हाई डायबिटीज एंड दोज काइंड ऑफ ए थिंग ऑन टॉप ऑफ इट आर नर्चर हैज बिकम बैड नर्चर इज वॉट वी हैव डेवलप फॉर आर सेल्फ वी आर ना हैविंग रूरल अर्बन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑल आर विलेजेस आर गेटिंग अर्बनाइज TV and other Very, things. Everybody is using RO there also. We are using it here. So, bo gujia gujia khā rē hai. Smoking has become very common. They have become very tense and those kind of a thing. So, this epidemiological transition is also hurting our cause. Till the woman gets to the age of menopause, they have Which high levels. Which is forty-five to forty-eight years. Roughly forty forty-five. Till such time, they are having periods. their estrogen levels which are hormones inside women testosterone are the hormones in men estrogen in women the estrogen protects the women from heart attacks so the incidence of heart attacks is 1 is to 10 below the age of 40 one lady versus 10 men that that's the level of protection yeah but once you cross the age of 45 then the incidence of heart attack in women increases and by the age of 60 it is the same as men maybe even slightly higher so women should not take it that they are immune to heart attacks yes they are slightly slightly less prone but women are not exercising they are looking after the family they are cooking they are at home eating all kinds of thing so women should look after their health slightly better than even the men folk thanks a lot doctor for this informative session and to the audience uh, as you heard that it's not that difficult to take care of your health all you need to do is to do small measures for your good heart we will soon meet up in another episode till then thank you